Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. I was, uh, I did a video uh, where I was out here in the shop cleaning up and everything and, and something dinged on my phone and I happened to uh, have a signal enough to look at it and it was something about somebody screaming and raging and complaining because their father, they were at a gas station with their father and he cut his finger or something like that and this is for Central Alabama on, on Facebook and uh, she was screaming and complaining because the lady that was in the uh, gas station didn't really understand her she was a foreign, you know, a uh, Latino and, uh, and so she was just screaming and raising hell and railing against it and talking about boycotting it and it was like, where's your first aid kit? Why don't you have a first aid kit? And, you know, obviously you're, you're a grown adult, but where's your first aid kit? You don't have one in your car. Jesus Christ. Um, your father was with you. He's older than you are. I'm sure at one time he had one in his car because uh, she said he was in his 80s, so... I'm sure that old man at one point was prepared and she just kept on and on and on about how it was such an injustice and they were going to rise up and ban the gas station, it's not a BP gas station, a local BP gas station, locally owned and everything and I was going like just, and, and so I asked her, I said, do you have a first aid kit in your car? And it was like, no, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, why don't you have a first aid kit in your car? And she said, well, we, we, were, we had a, a wrecker uh, come pick it up because it was, and I said, well, wreckers are, they have first aid kits in their trucks. No, no, it, it's that woman's fault. It's that damn foreigner's fault because she, she didn't speak our language and she couldn't do this. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. This gets old. Um, and, and I got to thinking, you, you know, I, I, I have one, uh, a decent first aid kit for the hooch and in her car. And, and I have one for myself in my car. And I have one additionally in her bag in her car and in my bag in my car and and I thought maybe people don't think like that I, I don't know um, because I, I always figured worst comes to worst you, you know rags tapes band-aids or something I, I don't know so we might revisit everything for a what are you carrying in your vehicle video because it, it, it I don't care about views or anything like that but maybe it could help somebody because obviously she was she was in distress but because of it and she was upset and but it, it, I was like don't you have I guess not okay well maybe not um so we might start with building a pack for the four-wheeler and what we'll put in it and do all this and that for riding and everything and then we can do what are you going to do for your car. I drive, you know, I, I can drive 600 miles a day. Uh, I can. Uh, and, and you know what what do you have in your first aid kit in your car do you have a first aid kit in your come on guys you, you gotta have a first aid kit in your car uh first aid kit is like you, you know first step knock on wood nothing happened to you but i was really disappointed but because i mean out, out here or, or around in this these are my people and they're like, ah. 
and you don't have a first aid kit in your car for you or your your dad and the wrecker didn't have one I don't know that may be something we need to address we may start like a prepping 101 and if you would bear with me we will start from the very beginning I guess on how you do it what you do um, and, and, and stepping back from it I can laugh at her almost but she was frantic so I can understand um, because my wife has been that way about certain things happening and, and everything and, uh, and and needing resolution to something that's happening now and if there's nobody there to res help resolve it then it compounds I'm not saying it's good or bad I'm just saying it's my might be something we need to do um, so if you would bear with me maybe we would go back and revisit everything prepping 101 ah I remember in college uh, I had to take remedial algebra and it was algebra 098 so we might do prepping 098 I don't know and, and, and I'm not picking picking at anybody or making fun of anybody because uh, it, it you know I said that and I just you know she said that and I said well just get your kid she ain't got no kid nobody talked to her about a kid I'm thinking like well I guess maybe we need to. I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's something that we're going to work on. And we may start out with like a, like I said, a trail riding first aid kit, obviously tourniquet, uh, you, you know, trauma related because you flip, wreck, do stuff like that. Uh, but for your car, it's going to be a little bit more finesse stuff. Um, it's still tourniquets and all that good stuff. I, I don't know. I, I may talk to my buddy Kevin uh, about it because he has some really good insights. That's what he does for a living. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was disappointed uh, in the people out around here. Um, I don't know, guys. But we're going to wrap everything up. I, I keep uttering and stuttering. Um, If you would go through your cars, your first aid kits and your vehicles, open it up. I'm not checking nothing. We're you know, we're not doing anything for a grade. Open it up and look at it. Is there anything you need to add? First aid kits are cheap, easy to add. Now I will say one thing. Uh, the times I've had to use first aid kits, I've used everything in the first aid kit, so if you think you have enough, double it. And you're still not going to have enough. So, anyway, guys, uh, like I said, it was, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing uh, for my people out here. The um, way it is. But I would always ask you to uh, take care of your people and check those first aid kits. We're not going to do left hand or right hand or anything like that. I I'm actually concerned. Check your first aid kits and your vehicles. If you don't have one, get one. Because um, it can make a difference. Take care of your people.